Welcome back everyone, I hope you're having a great day, and in this episode we're going to take a look at three of the best ETFs you can buy right now and continually reinvest back into every single month that will allow you to build a massive portfolio for retirement and you can retire a very wealthy individual. We're going to go over three different funds who each have their own rules based investment style, come with very low expense ratios, and you can passively own these investments without doing any major market research. And in no way are these get rich quick funds. These are funds you continuously buy every single month with your paycheck. You buy more and more in pieces. And over the long term, you will build up a massive portfolio for your retirement. These are funds you invest in over the next 20, 25, 30 plus years, every single month consistently, and you will get some very good returns. But before we move on to that first ETF, I am going to ask you to please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm the Gen Z Investor, and on this channel we talk about the stock market, go over any major market news, and we track the performance of my personal dividend growth portfolio as well, so please hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. And now we're going to move straight in to the first ETF for this episode, and that is ticker JQUA for JP Morgan's US Quality Factor ETF. So this is an ETF focus on investing in the highest quality US companies. So right now you can pick up a share for right around $45. They have a year-to-date return of over 15% with a current dividend yield at 1.48% and a very minimal expense ratio at only 0.12% overall, so a very low-cost ETF. And the investment style for the JQUA portfolio is to provide domestic equity exposure with a focus on companies with strong quality and profitability characteristics with the potential to enhance overall returns. And it aims to provide exposure to higher quality stocks while mitigating specific stock risk. So of course, for an investor who does not want to actively research companies, you want to buy the strongest high quality names on the market. And that's what this ETF is designed to do. If we take a look at the actual characteristics that it follows, they select and rank the companies of the largest 1000 publicly traded US names on three quality metrics, which include profitability, quality of earnings and solvency, which is a balance sheet metric. These are combined into a quality factor, which determines which securities will be held in the index and their relative weights. So overall, this fund takes a look at profitability, earnings, and solvency when evaluating the highest quality US companies. So overall, if you're a novice investor and you don't actually want to follow the companies or do any of your own research, buying this JQual ETF allows you to have exposure to some of the highest quality businesses on the market based on JP Morgan's research. And if we take a look over the historical returns, this fund was created back in 2017. And over the past five years, this fund has provided investors with some very strong results with an average annual return of 11.7%. And since the fund's creation, the average return has been 12.6% overall. And if we take a look at the top stocks within the portfolio, there's 258 overall holdings with a turnover ratio of 18%. And if we take a look at the top 10 names, these are some of the most profitable, well-run, financially stable companies on the market. We have Google, Meta, Eli Lilly, Berkshire Hathaway, Microsoft, Visa, Apple, Nvidia, MasterCard, and Broadcom. Very strong, profitable businesses that we all know, we all use their products and are expected to grow and continue to grow for many years going forward. And one thing I really like about this fund is that it is not very top heavy. The largest stock is only worth 2% of the net assets. The top 20 holdings make up less than 20% of the overall fund's value. So that means this fund is nicely weighted across all the holdings and you're not top heavy where in most ETFs you get 40 plus percent of the value with only in the top 10 names. This fund has their assets nicely diversified across the entire portfolio. And now I'm going to show you a quick example of how powerful this investment style can be if you continually reinvest into a portfolio that holds JQUA or any equivalent ETFs. So the first scenario we're going to take a look at on the compound interest calculator is the absolute best case scenario there is where your investment return generates an 11.7% annual return in line with how JQUA has performed over the past five years. I do want to preface that this is the most unrealistic and this is a very, very high projection of your annual return on investment. Just because it performed this well over the past five years does not mean it will continue to perform this well over the next 10, 20, 30 years in the future. This is a very optimistic and a very high rate of return to get over a 30 year investment period. So if we start off with $0 in the portfolio, but you are able to achieve that 11.7% average annual return and from where you start today and you fast forward 30 years in the future, and the only contributions you are making into this portfolio are $100 per week. 
Of course, there's 52 weeks in a year, so the total annual contribution is $5,200. Whether you do this all at once in one lump sum every month or actually weekly does not matter. For our assumption is $5,200 per year gets deposited of your own money into this portfolio. And just to keep it really simple, I have not increased the deposits with inflation over time. So $5,200 today is of course much more valuable than $5,200 in 30 years, but for this projection and all the scenarios we're gonna go through, $5,200 is the set amount for the deposit each and every year. So over 30 years, if you were able to earn 11.7% per year on average across that 30 year timeline, your $156,000 of deposits, so you only put in $156,000 of your own money into the actual portfolio, turned in to over $1.18 million with the compound interest earning you over a million dollars. So of course, this is a nice lump sum for retirement while only investing $100 a week for 30 years. So of course, everyone's investment timeline is different. If you have a shorter period of time, you will have to invest more. If you have a longer period of time, this number will be larger for you or you can invest less to achieve the same goal. But over time, the average kind of savings period for an investor is 30 years for retirement, which is why we have that set for these scenarios. But of course, this is the most optimistic and I would call this somewhat unrealistic expectation for your portfolio, but it just is an idea to show you how powerful this long-term investing can be if you continually fund your portfolio into one of the three ETFs we're gonna discuss in this episode. Next, we have a little bit more of a somewhat realistic portfolio expectation. The same characteristics starting at $0, 30 years, $5,200 a year in contributions, at a 10% rate of return, will turn to $855,000, still a great number to end up with in 30 years. And also, if you bring that down to probably the most realistic idea of what you're really going to get over a 30-year period, which is around 8%, 8% per year on average over 30 years, will turn into just under $600,000, which again is still a very large sum of money if you really think about it by only investing around $5,000 a year. So these are the rates of returns, and this is the stockpile in the portfolio you can build by just consistently investing $100 a week into the portfolio over the long term. I think the more realistic expectation you should set for yourself is to earn somewhere around 8% over the long term by investing in a low-cost passive ETF like the ones we're going to discuss. So now if we take a look at the second fund that you can invest in right now to earn some great returns over a longer period, this is ticker SCHD, which is Schwab's US Dividend Equity ETF with an expense ratio of only 0.06%. The expense ratio is extremely minimal, and this is one of the most popular and probably one of the best performing dividend focused ETFs available on the market for passive investors. And this invests in stocks selected for fundamental strength relative to their peers. So this fund actually picks some of the top dividend pairs within each individual sector, and it is focused on the quality and sustainability of dividends over the long term. And if we take a look at the fund facts, it was created back in 2011, and this fund is absolutely massive with close to $50 billion in total net assets. This is one of the largest dividend funds on the market, and $50 billion worth of capital within a fund just shows how many investors really like this fund and are funding their retirement through holding SCHD shares. Overall, there are 104 companies within this ETF. The portfolio turnover rate is right around 27%. Like I mentioned, this is a passive management style for this fund. They have great return on equity at 38%. The price to book is at 3.52. And the current PE ratio on average for the portfolio is at only 13.87, so a lower PE. Of course, when you're getting these dividends focused companies, you're getting more value stocks. Companies have more realistic PE ratios. So that's why it's only at 13 on average across the 108 total holdings. And if we take a look at the yield, because this portfolio and this ETF has somewhat underperformed the overall market as of late, because there's not a lot of big tech players within this fund, because those tech companies do not actually pay out a dividend just yet. And of course, these tech companies have a great performance in 2023 that has brought the S&P 500 higher. So overall, this fund has somewhat lagged the market in the current environment. But of course, that's not really what's expected to do over the long term. And you can buy this fund today with a nice 3.6% or 3.5% current dividend yield at the right now share price, which is a great yield to get for a passive portfolio and some nice growing passive income into your portfolio. If we take a look at the recent performance, over the past five years, similar to JQUA, this fund has returned 11.9% on average to investors annualized over the past decade. Over the past five years, it's at 10.83% per year. And since the fund was created back in 2011, it is averaged an annual return of 13%. 
So again, some very strong returns over the past decade by holding this passive fund without having to do any market research or any work whatsoever. And if we take a look at the top holdings in this fund, we have Amgen, Cisco, Avvi, Broadcom, Home Depot, Chevron, Pepsi, Merck, Coca-Cola, and Texas Instruments. And one thing I want to point out is that the top 10 holdings in this ETF are not included in the top 10 holdings of JQUA. So of course, these two funds and why it may be nice in your portfolio to have a couple of these long-term based ETFs mixed in there is because your top of your portfolio, top of your net assets invested in the fund are not actually spread across the same companies. We saw more S&P 500 based companies in JQUA and of course, more long-term, stable, profitable, dividend paying companies in SCHD. So although these two funds have performed relatively similar over the long term, both of them have different companies with different characteristics and follow a different rules-based approach for their portfolios. And of course, with SCHG, you are going for that dividend appreciation over the long term. And if we take a look at the 10-year chart for their dividend payments, we can see back in 2012, their quarterly payments were 12 cents, 14, 21, 21. And if we fast forward to today, they're paying 66 cents a quarter, 60, 70, 64. So we can see the dividend payments have somewhat tripled over the past decade. So when you buy into SCHD, not only do you get the capital appreciation with the share price over the long term, you can just collect that growing passive income into your portfolio quarter after quarter. And that's why this is known as one of the best dividend focused ETFs available on the market right now. So overall, SCHD is one of the best ETFs you can continually buy more of every single month, let the compounding effect work to your benefit, and over time into retirement, you will have a massive portfolio that provides you with growing passive income quarter after quarter. So definitely want to take a look at and to plan or it might make a nice addition to a retirement portfolio right now. And next, we're gonna take a look at the third and final company we're gonna go over in this episode. This ETF is probably the most talked about, the most controversial, and the most basic investment style out there, and that is buying a passive S&P 500 ETF and holding it for the long term. We're gonna use ticker VOO for this example from Vanguard, but of course, any standard S&P 500 ETF will do the trick. Vanguard's VOO comes with a minimal 0.03% expense ratio. It has a current yield at 1.5%, and currently the market price is right around $408 per share. And of course, this is a large stock domestic company because the fund is made up of 500 of the largest US stocks representing the S&P 500. And if we take a look, the historical performance has been very strong. Over the past five years, the average annualized return is at 11.09%. And if you have a quick memory, you can understand that the first two funds we've gone over, JQUA and SCHG, have actually slightly outperformed the S&P 500 historically over the past five years. Of course, it does not mean that's going to continue going forward, but they actually do have the capability and have the history of outpacing it over the last five years as well. During the past decade, this has returned 12.8% on average historically. And since 2010, when the fund was created, it's returned over 13% per year. If we take a look at the fund details, Currently, there are 507 stocks within VOO. The median market cap is close to $200 billion. The average earnings growth is above 18%, which is very strong for the S&P 500 right now, and a current PE ratio of 22.9, and a price to book at 4.1. And overall, the return on equity is at 24%. And again, if you compare the different ETFs, the return on equity for SCHD was above 36%. So why those companies generated higher return on equity, because those are profitable businesses with well-established operations, higher equity values on the balance sheet relative to some of the tech companies or the growth stocks within the S&P 500 that are not included in SCHD. So there are some variances and some differences between these three ETFs that we discussed so far throughout the episode. And if we take a look at the top 10 holdings, of course, these are just companies that we all know and love, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Nvidia, Google, Tesla, Facebook, Berkshire Hathaway, and ExxonMobil round out the top 10 companies within the S&P 500 right now, and essentially are the top 10 largest companies within the US market at this current point in time. So overall, any of the three ETFs we discuss in this episode will make a great addition to a retirement portfolio and can allow you to achieve true wealth and financial freedom if you continually invest into them every single month. We all saw the strong historical performance. Of course, the historical returns are not guarantees of future returns, but if you're out there looking for a passive way to invest your capital every single paycheck, these three funds are great options. 
very minimal expense ratios, they're passively managed, they have strict rules for what makes up the portfolios, and they just have a strong history and strong guidelines that I do believe are going to allow them to continue to perform very well long into the future, and they're definitely worth taking a look at. You saw the three scenarios we went over. At 8%, 10%, or 11.7, they all generate a ton of capital and a ton of compounding over a 30-year period. So start investing as soon as possible, whatever amount of you can, every single paycheck, every single month, whatever you can scrounge up, throw into a portfolio for your long-term financial freedom. And of course, your future self will thank you for it when you're able to retire with a large sum of capital to pay you every single month. So overall, I wanna conclude the video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. JQUA, SCHD, and VOO are three of the best ETFs you can buy and hold for a long-term retirement portfolio that will fund your retirement for decades in the future. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.